What's happening, everybody? Mike and Dwayne here out at Lake Michigan. We're uh, got the sea dews out. It's a beautiful day. And there's Dwayne right there. And we're going to talk about the sport anchor. Uh, it's one of our newest anchors, and I'm going to flip this around. What a beautiful day out here at Lake Michigan. What, sure is. What do you think, Dwayne? Yeah. All right, so today, what do we got today? Today we got the uh, sport anchor. Yeah. I'm going to pull it out of here. This you can use on boats, and a lot of people really like using it on jet skis too. Yeah, it's really handy. It's four pretty foot uh, tall, so, so yeah. it's a lot easier to work with than some of the smaller. Yeah, items. it comes out of there pretty easy, goes in pretty easy, so yeah. it's real compact. I like that modular design, so it just snaps together. Yep, that's real easy. All so, right, got so here. you've got Sandy, Sandy or Sharky, just depends on what you want to call her or him. Yep. Yep. And so you got the buoy line. Yep. And what you're going to do here is demonstrate how to auger down the sport anchor. Yep. And what so are you looking for? So we got this sea dew sitting here, and we're what, 35 feet out maybe? Yeah, something like that. You know, so you really want to be able to do it one by yourself. Yeah. You know, it makes so make it easy to do by yourself, and okay. that's what we have here. All right. Where we have the clip, the 7 to 14 line. Yeah. Has a clip on it. So what we're going to do is put the clip on. Gotcha. So we got the jet ski. Right? Gotcha. So then we're not gonna have to sit and hold that. Right. And then we're gonna go out, go with the lines uh, tightening up, and then we're gonna put on the uh, put the line over the handles. Okay, over the hammer. Yep. And then now, now I've got everything secure, and all, all right. I have to do is turn it down. Oh, you're turning it down. You're gonna get down yep. roughly about a foot. Yeah, and what you notice with the sport anchor, nice and light, easy when it's bouncing around the jet ski. Yeah. Not beating up the, the uh, department of the jet gotcha, ski. Gotcha. And um, four foot tall, so yeah. it's nice and easy to work with. Right. So yeah, we're in sand right now, and this is a uh, nice, you know, smooth Lake Michigan sand. So it's uh, yeah. it's a nice substrate. Yeah. And it took me probably about a minute to get down there with that anchor. Yeah, and then you'll notice it start tightening up. Yeah, it's hard to turn after that. And then, uh, you know, I always like to make sure I get them down nice and secure, so I don't yeah. have to worry about them. That looks solid. Tightening up. Yeah. And then I've got that set. Yeah, okay. You know, That's real visible. Tall, yeah. Still, you know, underwater. Right. Well, and if you're on the ocean, that yeah. might not last, so you need Sharky or Sandy out there to make sure you don't stub your toe, too. Yeah. But that's nice. But, yeah, that jet ski ain't going anywhere. You can see the waves. Yeah. A couple feet, depending on the boat. Too. That's beautiful. Okay. So you got it all anchored down. You're good to go. The other thing you want to show us is how you break it down and then how we take care of it so it doesn't seize up. Yep, so let's One of the ahead. things that we get a lot of calls about this time of year is anchors getting stuck. And we find out a lot of times, nine times out of ten, it's just full of sand. Yeah, a lot of sand. So so with the sport anchors, we'll just go ahead and take, take Sandy off, take the line off. Right. And then we will uh, unscrew this out of here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go ahead and keep a hold of the line so that the jet ski doesn't get away from it. Right. Me. And then, you know, sometimes sitting out of there. There you there's go. A lot of sand, so I want to there's a lot of sand that came up there. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm rinsing this out. Out really well. And you can feel the pressure. Yeah. There you go, when it releases. And I just want to keep uh, rinsing these pieces out. All right. Now, if and you wanted to. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if, if um, you can see, yeah, yep, nice okay. and clean. Yeah, and then we'll snap it back together. This is what this is handy for. If it was stuck, you yeah. know, I might hit the buttons. We'll hammer it, yeah. Hit the buttons and tap, the, tap, tap on the auger, tap the I got you. part. I got you. That's, uh, I had to do that a couple times before, so that's probably yeah. the problem. Right. The longer it sits there, the more sand. Right. The longer it sits, just make sure the sand's out of it. Yep. And then, uh, it's hard to do at the end of a long day out here. Yep. Sometimes you want to throw stuff around and just get the heck out. Yeah, right. Exactly. But if you take a little bit of time and just make sure that sand's out of there, it's going to cause you a lot of a little less grief, let's yeah, say. Right. You know, you're not going to be calling us on the beach in a panic. Exactly. Right. And that, there you go. Just put is, stuff away. And that's pretty go. much it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we're ready to go. So we're ready to go. You gotta ride more, uh, get more riding time here. We need to do another quick video like that. All right, everybody, we're out of here. We're gonna have fun on Lake Michigan. See ya.